Hi, come back to this new series on ESPN FC about Qatar 2022 and the big, big national teams and even, even, even the best players of each, uh, of each national team. That's why we're going to talk about who? Yeah, yeah, I know. You may know this one. You may know this one because now I'm pretty sure that he's the best player worldwide. We're talking about France and we're talking about Kylian Mbappé. Yeah, do you know him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you know him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, two years in a row saying, okay, I'm going to leave PSG for Real Madrid. And no, and we already know, was the future for Kylian Mbappé. The thing is that at the end of this year, he's going to lead the French national team. It's going to be very interesting because uh, France is the main favorite to win the title once again. But the thing is that they used to be the main favorites to win the Euro next year, and they failed. Even he missed an important penalty against Switzerland. He did it really bad with the penalties. But anyway, he's really good, and that's why uh, he moved back. And he's going to be the main guy to, to keep an eye on, apart from Leo Messi, apart from uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, and all these guys for example Neymar he's there he's up there he's very young 22 years old and that's why we want to see him in Qatar 22 to see if he had made this step ahead that for example he didn't do in Russia uh, 2018 there he was an important player for France but he wasn't like the main guy to win the title France uh, won in Russia and they want to win once again proving that they have the best squad and they have the best players because we're talking about killing Mbappé but we have to talk about for example people like Pogba in the midfield we gotta talk about another striker like uh, Antoine Griezmann who's playing for Atletico Madrid in Spain and we have to talk about another French guy who's playing in Madrid but on the other road, on the other side of the road, Karim Benzema. The season of Karim Benzema has been outstanding, massive. Maybe, 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 let's see if you agree, uh, if you agree with me um, below, maybe he's done the best season so far in his career. And believe me that his career is huge. And that's why it's going to be very interesting to see uh, people that are friends outside the pitch, uh, like Benzema and Mbappé, together in a World Cup. Because Benzema wasn't in Russia. And that's why, for example, uh, Karim Benzema wants to win a big, big title with France. Uh, I think it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be like, you know, like the big brother, uh, Karim Benzema, taken by the hand his uh, younger brother uh, Kylian Mbappé to the big 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 scenery of the world of football and that's where Qatar plays a key role in Mbappé's career. I don't know what we'll have to do for the next lap he's playing too but I'm pretty sure that what we have what he has to do for friends he has to play well he has to be uh, the most important guy with Benzema for the French guys and he tells Ben uh, he has to tell uh, Didier Deschamps national team coach for France he has to tell him I am the big one I'm ready for this and forget about Cristiano Ronaldo forget about uh, Leo Messi and forget about Neymar because I'm the big guy I'm I was the big guy at PSG and now everything has changed because I want to be the main guy even in a World Cup that's why we have to keep an eye on him please subscribe to the notification on comment below subscribe like this video and follow Kylian Mbappé I'm pretty sure it's worth it Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.